right, so in La Cueva del Tabaco, um, it was actually my first time going, man. And I've been, I've been going to, uh, I've been going out there for a while to, uh, to Torreon and to Matamoros, Coahuila, and of course to the village to Benito Juarez. Um, <clears throat> it was actually my first time going there. I've heard of it. Um, they've invited me. Never, you know, this time my uncles told me I'd come through. You know, one of my uncles was working there. They were. Um, you know, just a community service thing. They provided the paint. Right, we're here in La Cueva de Tabaco. It's right here in Puerto uh, Matamoros, uh, Coahuila. So the story is Benito Juarez up there. He uh, he found some papers in that cave in there that's right there. He found some papers. Uh, it's like the title to Mexico, like the declaration. And uh, the French was out here looking for it because they wanted to, uh, they, they wanted to own Mexico at the time. But um, Boo found it, uh, Boo found it, and gave it to the government. And this is where it all happened. Right now, my uncle's here. We're, you know, doing a little remodel because the government don't want to, you know, it's it's a lot. It's a big investment to to kind of re like uh, repaint everything, get everything situated. Like they can make a business out of, out of this. But, you know what I'm saying? Too much money, too much uh, responsibility, and the people have to do it. You know what I'm saying? So. We all get in, pitch in, donate, try to, uh, try to uh, help the community, man. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go work a little bit. Of course, we worked for a little bit. We were working, so um, didn't have much time to help as much as I wanted. But, um, but we all, we all lended a hand there, and um, you know, you know, give it a better maintenance. Of course, there's better future plans for it. But that place is where the Declaration of Mexico was hitting in the cave. Um, that's where it was hidden at, and um, Benito Juarez, and of course the people named on the um, named on the uh, on top of the cave. Those people were involved in finding, and also a lot of in finding the declaration and returning it back to Mexico City. We even got the Dominican Republic in the house helping out. Well, get the you know what I'm saying? Say getting something. it down, getting it down yeah. over there in Mexico. You know how we do it. The drink is painting all day long. I'm not sure some people, Europeans or French, I'm not sure who, they were looking for it, killing people, you know, killing Mexicans to um, get the declaration. So um, Mexicans found the declaration, they knew where it was at, they knew where it was hitting, where it was hidden, and um, they returned it to Mexico, and a lot of people um, uh, that, that are named there gave their life, you know, for, for that declaration. So it's a nice story, it's a historic, historical place, but um, the government doesn't really want to fund it. I'm not sure why. Um, so the people, you know, my uncles, the people there, and the people there um, trying to come up with plans to kind of make it not an amusement park, but something, you know, like a museum type, you know, adding more stuff to it. This is Benito Juarez, um, well known in Mexico, did a lot for the country. <laughs> That's where my village is, my, uh, the village I live in where I got the house, um, it's named after him, Benito Juarez. These are all the people that were involved in um in being a part of finding the declaration of Mexico in this cave. <laughs> we were painting these steps yesterday, we're still gonna paint them. We gotta give it another coat. But there's there's a couple different caves around this whole mountain where they used to stay at. But um this is where they found the, the paper, the declaration at. Yeah, my bad. I did. I did say in my video, yeah. I might be mistaken. Is the Spanish or the French? Right, I just said that. Somebody from Europe. Somebody came. from Europe came. Yeah, and they, they were tried looking. To steal it. They killed a lot of and people. And then they the Mexicans, you know, the Mexicans, they were smart because they found out. They took this shit. Boom, and they ran. <laughs> That's what I said. Ran, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, and yeah. then you know, boom. They took off. Now it's in the city. Now it's in Mexico City. Now it's in Mexico they, City. They have it over there in, um, where the president's at. I'm saying it's like the title, like the title of your car, the title of the country, man. Right? What trying to take? Let's go get it. All right, all right, all right. Um, so what's better than the Waffle House and the IHOP is the Mexican Waffle House. <laughs> Escúchame, que aunque me duele la vida, yo necesito. Buenos días, buenos días. Está grabando. Está bien. Aquí es.
excited. Uh, my mom kind of get a little jealous because um, I love it there, and you know she prefers me eating her food, which I love her food. But I just get excited, man. I get excited. You know, you get there, they treat you like a king to start with. Everybody, everybody gets treated like a king. Get your hot tea, you get your coffee, you mix it in with the coffee. Jay really loves that. Um, and uh, you ask them what kind of eggs you want. You know, you get refilled. You know, you get you get second plates. It's kind of like a buffet. They come, they tell you what you. Uh, we got this, we got that, we got that. All right, give me this. Freshly made tortillas right there in the spot. You see the beautiful women there. You know, making the tortillas there. And um, yeah, beautiful experience, man. For anybody that you know, something different. Hey, all right, so this rock right here is called a molcajete. They um, they grill, they they grill the uh, jalapeno peppers and the tomatoes. Gracias, compadre. They grill the jalapeno peppers and the tomatoes. These are tortillas made by hand. Um, they grill the uh, the jalapenos and the tomato, and they have like this rock thing. They just squish it. They put they you know you can sauce it up, put some beer in it. You know, put some beer in it, sauce it up. And um, what us Mexicans do, you know what I'm saying? We get the tortilla. This is how we used to eat, you know? You ain't got money, this. That's how we eat. We just put a little, little bit of little bit of uh, chili on there. You know what I'm saying? When I was little, instead of chili, I'll use salt. Put salt on there. Flip it, flip flip it. Yeah. Mm. That's a meal. You know what I'm saying? To have, to eat. Uh... They, the economy went up over there too, man. Mexican Waffle House went up too, man. I remember when it was like three dollars, uh, three dollars a plate, you know, and you get all you can eat. Uh, right now, it's probably I would say five, six dollars a plate with your drink. So it's still not bad for us, but you know, it's kind of you know for people over there, it's a little pricey. But still, um, they sell gorditas. Gorditas, they're like um, they're tortillas stuffed in tortillas. They got whatever you want. They put potatoes. They put type of meat you want, eggs, whatever you want in the gorditas, um, they go for about 15, 20 pesos, which is a dollar each. Over here, you get them for like $4 each. So over there, you get them for like, you know, 75 cents to a dollar. So it's definitely great for somebody coming from over here. Um, you be eating like a king. Digo, ¿quieres amargado de la madre? Dijo, sí, porque te dije, ¿quieres algo? Y dijo, amargado. No, ando viendo una vieja aquí, compadre. <laughs> 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 He's talking shit, man. He's just talking <laughs> shit. I told him I was going to bring him a girl. Te voy a traer una vieja. Te loco. Sit on your lap. Te vas a sentar aquí. I'm going to sit on his lap. Watch. I'm going to do it. Right. ¿Descuento o qué? ¿Están a descuento o qué? <laughs> a peso. Ya está. Voy a agarrar estas, veo. Let me see. A ver, ¿qué más te compro, compadre? Lo que sea. Pero ya no fume, ya no fume, eh. Inga, su madre, se me rompió la bolsa. Está bien, así me hago mal güey, va. ¿Cómo estamos, compadre? ¿Todo bien? Bien, bien. Aquí, dándole. ¿Dónde está el bebo? ¿Dónde está el bebo? ¿No jaló? ¿No jaló ahora? Yeah. You want some candies? This is my uncle's house. In fact, let's go. Let's go say what's up. ¿Cómo estamos? Yo quería ir para llevar la gladiadora a la Mojave a lavar. Oh, ok, ok. Pero al fin. He got the old school, um, the, the, the furniture he got. Mm -hmm. That's that old school, real shit. That shit lets me. Yeah. When I, when, as soon as I walked in and I saw that, that shit reminds me of my grandmother's house. Yeah. yeah sure. Now we're going. This is my, my aunt's house. Well, I mean, my aunt. Well, her house is in the back, and her store is right here. Little you know store. Been having for years, years, years. Since I could, when I was little, when I was little, Chani, yeah. 
they used to have like the little gaming stuff here, like you oh, play right here, the like, maquinita. Yeah, the, the ma machines, yeah. Yeah, yeah all, all Pac -Man and playing, all that. yeah, Pac -Man. right here. Yeah, right there. Little, little games, the Sega games. Yeah, the Sega games. Yeah, yeah, we be right here. Estamos filmando, okay? Ay, bueno, bueno. That's my tío, my uncle. You know, been having this store. Hola. He went to. ¿En qué año fue para Atlanta, tío? En el primer año fue el 96. Okay, so 1996 he went to Atlanta, worked for one year, saved up, built this store, and been. The rest is history. And came back straight. Built the store. Just went to work for one year in 1996. The Olympics in Atlanta when all the Hispanics was moving. He went for one year and built all this shit here. Came and lived stress free. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. That's why these things are really so, really so sad. And the reason why is because the blood is always around. You know what I'm saying? The blood is always around, so that's why the culture, you know, it's, it just, I want to say something, but I'm not because I'm on camera, but you know what I'm saying, that's why things are, how they are here, you know what I'm saying, we're over here getting the pork ready, you know what I'm saying, for the party, and you know, skinning it off as you can see. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny, bro? That everybody out here, right? That they're like um, elderly people. You can see how they always working and doing something. And difference of everybody else in the USA, nobody wants to do shit. <laughs> Watching TV and not doing nothing with their life.